Hi guys, so it is today, obviously, today is a Saturday, so I'm going to start my day off by doing some washing and then doing some cleaning, so that's pretty good. Okay, so I've just cleaned and washed, it's about half twelve now, which, oh my god, it, I feel like the half the day is just like gone, but I'm going to get dressed now because I'm still not dressed yet, um, and then I might go to the store because I need to get some stuff, so I'm going to do. Um, just put the washing out, so that's pretty good. Um, just need to do a second load of wash when I get back. And that's how I'm washing done for the week, so... yippee yo yo hi yo Okay, I'm dressed now. I've come back from the store to get a few things for a project which I'm doing, so... Um, that's pretty good, but I'm gonna go and get some stuff done now. Um, I also make a cake, and I think I might still make a cake, because... Um, I remember once I went to a bakery a few days ago and it, the smell of baked cake makes me want to bake a sponge cake so that's what I'm doing, it's about half one now and I just came back so I think I might do that to get some stuff done, um, yeah. Okay, so here's what the cakes look like. So it looked burnt around the outside because my oven did a thing where it, like it the all the outside was like crusty and ready to go, but every time I put a knife through in to check if it's cooked, it was still doughy, so I had to put it back in to the point where all the outsides now kind of burnt, so it doesn't look too good, but at least the inside is fluffy and ready to ice tomorrow. I wasn't gonna do it tonight, but I have to go to the shop and get some um Icing, so I ran out of like, of like things to ice the cake with. So I'll have to go to the store tomorrow, get some buttercream icing stuff, um, ice the cakes, and then get some like jam and stuff, and then that should be a pretty good cake. So I'm putting some clothes away now, but I'm trying to hang the clothes up first, and then run back to my room to put in the wardrobe. I normally hate putting stuff on these hangers because I hate these like type of hangers. I remember I bought these hangers like years ago but I can't use them because you have like grips and stuff on them and how I usually hang like a, dra a tracksuit set. So I have this, this like tracksuit jacket and then I have this as well but I can't hang it on these hangers because you have to like slip on so I have to have it so the jacket sort of sleeves go for the hanger thing if you know what I mean so something like that but it can't go on the hanger thing because the grip stops it from going up. So it has to like kind of slip on, so I can't use these. I have to use the other ones without the grips for it to stick, for, it's like, for it to like slip on. So if I put these on the gripped hangers, then it all becomes very discombobulated. So I um, don't know why you need some more information, but um, I just told you guys why I hate clothes hangers with silicone grips because they're very much useless. So don't ever buy things with silicone grips because they, they make it very useless. Anyway, um, that's all I have to talk about. I'm gonna hang these clothes up right now. Hi, I am out of the shower now with, oh my God, something quite scary just happened to me. So I was watching like TV and I was watching a program, but then I don't know if it was either the TV or like something that had happened outside or something. But when I like was watching TV just then like, I heard this like really loud, aggressive like, cat meowing sound and it sounded like so like realistic like it did not sound like it came from the TV. I don't have a cat so I don't know why unless like something happened outside and I just must have heard it because I had the window open. I'm not sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it again see if it's actually the TV. That was not the TV. So I think a cat must have like climbed through somewhere, like in the woods something, um, and then just like must have meowed really aggressively. That was so scary. I think my house is just haunted. That actually reminds me of like what happened once when, um, it was like years and years and years ago. I um, remember I was like at home once and like the next door neighbour who I had at the time like had a dog, well she had like two dogs actually and I remember I had the back door open in the kitchen but I had a hedge like to connect the two gardens together so obviously next doors and obviously my garden. A dog literally, well one of the next door neighbour's dogs literally managed to climb through that fence 
get into my garden and then I had the back door open obviously and then this dog just managed to get through into my house through the back door and I remember I was going to the kitchen to get something and I walked in and I remember just seeing a dog just stood there and I literally screamed because I used to hate dogs when I was a child so literally walking into the kitchen and just like seeing this like dog I literally screamed the hell out like uh what Oh my god, like, I, I did not know who this dog was. Um, I, knew, I knew next door had like two dogs, but I didn't realise it was next door's. And so I just thought of a random dog just being there and it really creeped me out. Um, eventually he went back to next door and all was good, but that was like, that literally, that cat incident just then literally reminded me of the time when I found a random dog in my house. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you.